Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am really glad you're here. Today's date is Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Here in the United States, it's Memorial Day. If you celebrated the day in some way, I hope you had a pleasant time. There is a lot of chatter going on, a lot of viral videos, some of them old footage that's uh, pretending to be new, saying that uh, Hell's Angels are going to be riding to Aurora, Colorado to deal with some um, reported taking over of apartment complexes by Venezuelan gang members. And apparently this uh, um, situation has not been resolved by traditional law enforcement, shame on them. <laughs> and uh, um, so let's take a look and see if there's some truth to that. Now, I'm going to share one item with you. It is over on my um, Twitter or X platform page. It is a post by Juanita Broderick, or actually reposted by her, of a biker explaining something that we need to understand. And I'm going to take a couple minutes and go into this, okay? Hell's Angels are not good Samaritans. They are apex predators. We have to, they have a code that they live by. And if that code has been impacted by actions of others, there may be something we will end up seeing. Now, what am I talking about? If you are a mother of, and I'm not, <laughs> but a mother of a Hell's Angel, um, sister, daughter, family member, biker babe, if you've been harmed by others, that is when they will ride. Now, they're not going to put out a press release about it. They're not going to seek publicity or thank yous or anything else. They're going to go get her done. But that's the only way that they're going to do it. And I just wanted to make that really clear with what's going on. It's not impossible. We're going to see if the cards have some insight about it. But that is the only thing that would make them take that kind of action um, in this current day, time, and according to their code. Now, I know a little bit about that. And only kind of peripherally, and I don't want to offend anybody who is a Hell's Angels, but I grew up in Crescent City, California. And in the late 60s, when the Devil's Disciples got started, that gang had their headquarters, or at least one of their clubs, I think it was their headquarters, we were told it was, about a mile from my house on Kings Valley Road. So if any old Devil's Disciples people putting those dots together, that was, we lived down the road from them. We lived just far enough that their parties didn't bother us. And we were close enough that we were kind of protected by that same code they lived by because they didn't, they didn't mess with the community around them. Okay. It was kind of, you know, live and let live. And like I said, since they were far enough away from us that their parties didn't keep us up on the weekends, we didn't have any issues with them. I mean, we heard the gangs when they would be riding, going on a ride, They'd go past our house. It was extremely noisy. Having some some rides were really had a lot of riders in them, stuff. But they didn't bother us. Even when I was walking down the road, sometimes they, you know, if I, you got to have frame of reference here. I couldn't drive yet. Okay, had friends that lived on the other side of that residence, so I get cat calls and stuff, and they try to. But they didn't bother me. They didn't stop me or anything. I could have stopped and chatted, you know. <laughs> I could have stopped, probably and done a lot of stuff, but they didn't bother me. So again, they didn't bother them. They didn't need to. They didn't, and they just didn't, okay? And it's a similar code, I think, going on here with the, the Hells Angels group. You know, like I said, they kind of live and let live until you step on their toes. So we're going to be asking the cards in a minute if there's been some toe stepping. Got it? Okay, and don't go thinking you can look them up or send them an email and ask them to come save the day. That's not what they're about, okay? There is one biker group I'd like to mention since we're talking bikers in this video, and that is one that you can call. And if you haven't made yourself familiar with, here's a rabbit trail you need to go down. Bikers Against Child Abuse, fantastic organization. Read about it. They help. Little ones that have been harmed by predators and used by them that are uh, maybe scared to testify, maybe having nightmares as a result of the situation or what have you. And those kids get assigned their own biker and biker gang. And they're just bigger and scarier and more awesome than any boogeyman that that child is afraid of. And they do amazing things. 
um, they'll ride up in a, in a group and let that kid know that they're protected. If the kid's having nightmares, they call, they'll come out in the middle of the night, stand in the driveway so that kid feels safe. They walk with them into court. They do fantastic stuff. Okay, I'm getting upset talking about it, but you know, it's uh, something that's near and dear to my heart is the safety of little ones and those that go out of their way to protect them. So that is one uh, call you can make. That is one organization you can contact. And uh, they've done some fantastic, valuable work and kudos to them. Let's take a quick look at the repost I've got of this biker explaining kind of, you know, what's going to, what is not going to happen, what not to expect. And uh, I think he goes on. The, the point is they're not going to seek publicity if they do. There's one reason they ride and they'll get her done. So let's look at that and then we'll see what the universe wants us to know. Okay, so here is the post and Juanita Broderick, who has my undying admiration, um, has posted this and I say I admire because she is a sexual abuse survivor, a sexual victim that uh, spoke up, spoke out and lived to tell the tale about it. And if you don't know her story, that's something you should look up too. Um, anyway, here he is talking about it. He makes it clear that he's not a hell's angel. He just speaks a little bit about the code and what would make them right. It's the most common sense reporting I've seen on this issue. So let's see, was a hell's angel loved one impacted by Venezuelan gang members in Aurora, Colorado. That'll be the yes or no element. And we'd like insights and information. If so, let's see what's going on. Okay, again, the yes or no element is, was a loved one of a Hells Angel um, harmed or impacted negatively by Venezuelan gang members in Aurora, Colorado? And uh, um, do we have some insights and information about next steps, if so? By the way, if you consider yourself a citizen journalist and you're on the ground there and you're hoping to record some action, I, they don't look for publicity. You might be wise to stay out of the way and uh, not do any close up and direct reporting of actions. Okay, we've got the seven of wands. We got an ace of cups. We got a hard yes, guys. High priestess. Five of cups. Looking at the near future now. Knight of, Knight of wands. Five of pentacles. Knight of swords. Okay, so there is some truth to the rumors, and it is because there was a loved one who's been impacted in Aurora, Colorado, by a Hell's Angel, someone beloved of a Hell's Angel, and so yeah, they uh, we're, they're going to be doing some writing. They are going to be doing some writing, and like I said, they don't want publicity. They're not going to put out a press release or anything else. Um, they're going to go take care of some business. So. We got our yes there. Recent past, we got the high priestess. She shows up when there's some information that uh, um, is close to coming into public awareness, you know, into conscious awareness. And uh, um, also kind of a duality card. So we got the, uh, the, you know, good and bad, good versus evil going on here thing. Um, and like I said, you know, these uh, hell's angels, they're apex predators and, you uh, um, they're going to protect territory and that includes family. Just boom, that's it. Yeah, there's been some sadness that happened to someone they cared very much about. Absolutely. And so, yeah, they're going to ride. They're absolutely going to ride. And they're not looking, like I said, for publicity for it or anything else. They're willing to, uh, and they're not going to try to like do property claims and, and use law enforcement. Law enforcement's let, you know, the residents down there. So they're going to uh, take some action, all right? And they're going to be encouraging those who try to record that action to not do so. 
Let's get some more insights here. we got the sun showing up with the star. And I'm going to stop there because you can't get prettier than that, okay? The star is telling us that things are moving in the right direction. There's reason for optimism and hope that this situation will be handled um, expeditiously. And uh, um, things are, yeah, it's going to come to be resolved. They are going to take care of something there. Absolutely. Let's recap. There's a lot of chatter on, especially on TikTok, that um, there's biker gangs headed to Aurora, Colorado, to Hells Angels biker gang, let's be specific, to uh, take care of business and deal with some actions that uh, from Venezuelan gang members, because it's being reported that there's been several apartment complexes there that have been taken over by them. I shared with you a video that was done by a biker, not a Hell's Angel biker, that uh, he explained that the only reason they would ride is if a loved one of theirs had been harmed in some way by those gang members. And uh, talked a little bit about, you know, just that code of ethic and how, you know, that goes on with the, uh, the biker um, culture. So we asked the cards, was a loved one of a Hell's Angel impacted negatively by actions of Venezuelan gang members in Aurora, Colorado. And well, you know, we got a hard yes. We absolutely got a hard yes with the Ace of Cups. And what's gonna happen? Well, they're gonna ride. They are gonna ride. And they're going to be doing it in such a way that they want to, they don't wanna be in the public eye for this, okay? They're not looking for publicity. They're not recruiting new members. Um, that's not the purpose here. They're taking care of their own, okay? And uh, just letting us know at the end of the day, it's gonna be done and done well and done right. So there we have it. The uh, uh, advice was if you're in the area and they're taking care of business, stay out of the way, okay? Don't try to record it. Don't try to get your 15 minutes of fame by having a you know, groundbreaking video. They'll probably break your phone. <laughs> So this is one of those things that's going to be, you know, like no press release or anything else. It's going to kind of be a word of mouth. Yeah, they were there. They didn't stay long, but boy, they sure took care of something while they were there. So um, let's stay out of the way when people take care of their family. Okay. That's it for this video. Until next time, if you're willing to receive it, I send you love, light, and everything bright. Ride safely. Bye.